This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by Gamefly. I'm, <laughs> I'm Patrick Norton. I'm Veronica Belmont. I don't know why I'm laughing. I have no idea why either. I don't know. It's it's the the cats were having a wild rumpus last night at 4 a.m. So I'm a little giddy mm, today. I know how that goes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, it's. I love the cats. They got to just stop what they were doing. Fighting at 4 a.m. I'll speak to them. Thank you. I appreciate you. that. You speak cat. I do. I'm a cat whisperer. Cat whisperer. Welcome to TechZilla. Hands on reviews of the latest tech and how to make the most out of the gear you've already got. Yes, whether you're a beginner tech support for your friends and family, if you've got a question about tech or why I'm hungry for the Hunger Games, we've got an answer for you. And if we don't, we'll track down someone who does. Yeah, I'm a little behind. I'm not seeing it until the show comes out Tuesday. I'm seeing it tonight, Tuesday night. I'll see it when it comes out on, uh, on iTunes or Blu-ray. Actually, yeah. We, we have a, a second child coming soon. My mom's Yay! coming out for the birth, so maybe my mom can watch the children while we go on a date night. Who am I kidding? I'm never going to see a movie in a theater again. Yeah, and I don't know if, if your wife's <laughs> going to be too keen on date night after she has your second child. This is how this happened, this labor process. It was a date. A date started it all. Speed round. Let's start off by dealing with one of the most annoying new f features in OS X Lion. Christian writes in, Dear Techzilla crew, I upgraded to OS X Lion this summer and generally like the upgrade mostly due to mission control. But Apple put in a version controller which they probably believe is very smart. But I have to click unlock every time I open a PDF document to do highlighting and it really bugs me. How do I turn this off? Regards, Christian in Copenhagen, Denmark. So unfortunately, you can't turn off versioning completely in line, but you can try to stem how often it locks documents under the Time Machine preferences. Yeah. So what you want to do is go over to Time Machine, and then you'll see the Options section right here. Click that, and then down here you'll see a little checkbox for lock documents, and you can decide how long in the past you want that to happen. So if it's right. two weeks, a day, a week, a month, a year, or just turn it off completely. <laughs> and so that should help with some of it, although um, that should help with your PDF issues. but People have been trying to figure out how to turn right. off versioning completely. Hack there doesn't the seem to be a really safe, like, like secure way to do it just yet without really screwing stuff up. If you guys know, let us know for sure, but yeah. I haven't been able to find anything. I want to know the genius that, that decided, like, you know, save as, we're moving beyond that. Yeah. I use save as every single me too. I job. miss that so much. It drives me crazy. Yeah. And oh, oh, it drives me crazy. <laughs> it drives me crazy. Thank you for bringing this to back to my attention because it had been something that had been really annoying me, right. but I hadn't really actively thought about how to fix or mm -hmm. how to look into fixing it. And so then when I found this answer, I was like, yeah, I'm doing that. I'm, in fact, I'm going to do it right now. I'm just going to turn that puppy off. Goodbye. You just turn that thing off, versioning. While we're talking OS X, Walt writes in, I heard Veronica say she likes to clean out her Time Machine backups every so often. I was under the impression that Time Machine would keep a rolling backup going and that when it needed the space, it would Apple magically delete old data when it needed to do so. Is this not the case? Is it prudent to prune my Time Machine backups? Thanks, Walt in Birmingham, Alabama. So yes, it will auto Apple magically, <laughs> auto Apple magically delete older backups when you start running out of space. But if you want to delete them yourself when you feel like it, it should be safe as long as you're sure you don't need those files anymore, as long right. as you're positive that there's nothing back there that you want to get rid of. I've basically gone through in my external hard drive, mm -hmm. which I can't demonstrate right now because it's not connected, right. and I'll go to the oldest backup folders and just delete them. You just wipe them. And that feels really dangerous, but I have never <laughs> had trouble doing that. Um, but if you want to go back and actually do specific files mm -hmm. or specific folders, it's pretty easy. So what you do is you go into, into Time Machine, and then you click on the folder you, you want to do, and then you can right click on it. It's right the moving background it. that makes me sneak There you go. And then you can do delete all backups of desktop or delete <clears> all backups <throat> of whatever. Or you can pick a specific file. So I have this picture of Gary Oldman on my desktop. Don't ask why. You can delete all backups <laughs> of Gary Oldman if you want to. Whoa. So there's some there's there's a pretty easy way of being very specific about what you want to delete or if you want to specifically delete a, a certain folder from your time machine backups, it's easy to do. I tend to just do the bulk the bulk answer. Make it all go away. Make it all go away. Gamefly, it's the largest online video game rental service. They have an amazing selection, over 7,000 new and classic titles across all consoles and handhelds. Whether it's an old favorite you want to replay or the latest release, Gamefly's got it. 
plans start at just $15.95 a month. And GamePlan members, it's cool. You get one to four games at a time. You get to keep them for as long as you like. No late fees, no due dates. Shipping is always free. Play as long as you want. Finish that level. Play it umpteen times. When you're done, just send it back, and GamePlan will send you the next available game on your list. If you want to keep a game, it's easy. Just click Keep It on the Gamefly website, and the game is yours at a discounted price. Gamefly is even going to mail you the case and manuals free of charge. How cool is that? Texilla fans, it gets even better. we got a free 15-day trial for you. Go to Gamefly.com slash Texilla. Please support Texilla by supporting our sponsors like Gamefly.com slash Texilla.